in order for you to have true respect and love from your partner, you need to be able to provide straight like that. I don't want to sugarcoat it. This is what you have to do. You have to be able to provide for your family. If you are unable to provide for your family, you should not be looking to marry anybody. Top, top, top. All right, you want to get into today's top topic? Sure. Oh, man. <clears throat> All right. This is the last topic? Yeah. Okay. Today's top topic is... Jamil, would you like to introduce it? Can men, can men be loved without money? Before I give my answer, anybody in the chat, if you guys um, are interested in this conversation, of course you are, you're here. Um, do you guys feel like men can be truly loved from their partners without money? I'm going to let the pot stir up a little bit. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say, am I doing it now? No. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it a band. Stop the cap. I didn't say nothing wrong. <laughs> I didn't love the man without money. So that's why I'm saying yes. Stop the cap. <laughs> you going to stop doing that. You going to stop doing cap. that. You going to stop doing that. But what, what, I, what I will say is, um, will the love last? No. Yes, a man can be loved without money. But the thing about it is the reason why you're not being loved without without the money is because of how you really feel about yourself. There's a reason why you're not getting money, which is going to trickle into every other aspect of your life, whether it be your self-confidence, your ego and all these other things. So for you not to have money, first, you have to ask yourself, why don't you have any money? (laughs) Seriously, even the woman. You have to ask yourself, why does this man not have any money? And a lot of the times we will love a man without money. But how long are you going to be without this money? What are you doing to get this money? So, yes, I feel feel as though a man can be loved without money. Because sometimes that's all it takes is a little bit of love to motivate that man to get him to that next level. And when when you say money, are we saying zero dollars or just not <laughs> enough? Is this just the what Tyler Perry was saying, the man that could pay the light bill? <laughs> Which man exactly are, we talking, are we talking about? You know what I mean? I feel like, you know, it's we don't rely on y'all for your money. But at the same time, we rely on y'all to help us survive because it may not be money that that's going to be the currency. <laughs> Um, I th- I thought about it, and um, the answer is no. Um, men cannot be loved truly, unconditionally, without being able to provide um, for their partner or their family. Um, so then I feel like I have a counter question: mm-hmm. Can a woman be loved if she's not fucking? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Slow down, slow down, yeah, slow down. Yeah, because now I'm saying, because you, you threw in that word unconditional. Yes. Like I said, men can be loved without money. Absolutely. Now, will it last? That's where the condition comes in at. Right. Now, and, and on the, re- the opposite side for a woman, can a woman reason, be loved if she's not having sex? And the reason why I, I pointed it this way as well, too, because it's actually scalable. If you guys want to know, like, sources and stuff like that. If the number one cause for divorce is monetary, uh, it's, that's, that means it's money issues. I do believe a lot of women do fall in love with potential. They use the word potential a lot when it comes to men. They look at a man and see like, okay, he may not have it now, but he has some kind of drive or ambition to get it. And they are taking a bet and a chance on that man getting to that point. And in the meantime, in between time, you are that. loving that person for who they are in that moment and going along for the journey. But my whole thing, this is not saying it's right or wrong. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I just thought about this like, dang, if a man doesn't make money, he really can't get love like that. Right, and if a woman don't give up that coochie cat, she's not going to give that get that love for real. Jamila, how many times have we seen simps 
and people and they don't be in love the same way that they they be in love with potential There's a man that just gave Ruby Rose over a hundred thousand dollars. That doesn't mean love. That, is, that does that not is mean love. love. It is a form of love. So men, is people giving up showing, sex? Why do you keep acting like when we, whenever we have these conversations, like when it's the female equivalent, like we just are not that? That is it's, it's throwing me falling, off. Men no, are it's falling not. in love with women who are not giving them sex. You have that never happens. fell in love with a bitch I, that didn't give yeah, you sex, me. and you don't yeah, know anybody me. else that's either. Me. And that's, that's not me. love. That's but there admiration. Are men, there are men out here who love are falling and admiration in love with are two women that they never met in real life. And they that's fell in love with women that they love. met online. That's that is admiration. love to them. That's love to them. You don't know what love is. That is admiration. You are on the outside. We're having this conversation from the outside looking in. You know what the definition of love These niggas do not love these people. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, you they may don't. They admire these people. They admire these people. No, Let's they look at the don't. Definition of love. No, they don't. <laughs> they admire these people. They don't know these people to love them. You can have love for an individual you don't know, but to love them, no. Right, that's my point. No, absolutely not. The love that a simp has, listen, the love that a simp has for that woman is not the love that a woman has for the man with the potential. The definition of love, an intense feeling of deep affection. That is in a simple sentence. Okay, these and we men feel this way about have an intense listen to feeling this. When you, of a no. deep affection to these women. Then you love all your bitches. Everybody, all these niggas love all their females. Time then you love every bitch you lay with. Stop women. lying. That stop bluffing. Not- stop bluffing. Y'all love what a bitch is giving you right in that moment. Like that. Stop the cap. Hit the button on you. <laughs> Stop the fucking cap. Like Stop thinking like you don't be much. having deep, intense affection for the joint that you about to hit. Like, let's keep it a buck in that moment. No, because Stop you can faking. have sex with women and not be in love with them. It's not about being in love. It's about this definition. Right. You and fucking with a bitch right a now. Affection. Hell yeah, y'all you be feeling that shit. You can fuck a bitch and not be in love with them. Th- this definite, for real, for real, you can have this, a deep affection for somebody without being in love with them. I feel like that's just not... It's a high level of admiration. Like I said, the woman, the woman that loves the man for potential and the simp that loves, that's two totally different loves. And you can say what you want to say. Love is love. If a man no, has love a is of, not love. Love a man is not having love. A deep affection for the love a woman, I have for you is not the love that I have for Logan. It's not the man that with, I have. Okay, so what about virgins then? There's, there's cases where a man and a woman are both virgins. Right. And they will get married. Right. And they, it, so that man is in love with that woman. And if they were to get married. get married and chose not to have sex, he yes. would not go for it. But the he's sex in love. has to be included. He is in love. That's what I'm saying. The sex has to still be included. Just like a, it goes back to the potential. He's in love with the potential of her pussy. Let's keep it a buck. It's the equivalent. It's the exact same thing. I don't know why you keep trying to downplay it. At the end of the day, y'all have already showed us that for real, for real, especially all these misogynistic ass men that keep faking like they not. But a lot of y'all really only see us for one thing. And you can say what you want. The more I talk to you on this podcast, the more I'm hearing it. I'm hearing what? The, you, the misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hit the button. Where, I got a misogyny button? How, how is that misogyny? I'm just saying, like, it's just the way that y'all, y'all really view us. It's in the undertone. You, it's, no, not it's not very not blatant. It's not very blatant, but you're not going to sit here and act like there are... It's but, the equivalent but, sex but, and money. What we want, would, what y'all why, want and need but, us for? What y'all need that us be for? Me being misogynist. That, I'm not no, no, saying, no, I'm saying it's I'm not saying it's right or wrong. No, it's no, not, no. I'm not giving any undertone. It's no, just a, it's just every it's time that we have a conversation about like the opposite end of whatever we're talking about with men, it's just like there is an equal part on the female side. And I'm telling you, it is what else is it? What else is it? Even a man, a man will love the, uh, the idea of a woman. Even if she's having sex, if she can't bear children, it could change the way that he feels about a woman. There are things that you guys want from us the same way that we want stability and protection. Right. So, yes, I, I, as a woman, I've loved the man that don't have money. Is it about the necessarily potential? It's just at the end of the day, people grow apart sometimes sometimes you realize that you guys don't want the same things there's so much that goes into it when it comes to this whole love situation though 
Right. Love is not love. The way I love my son is not how I've loved any of my niggas, how I love my mama, how I love my friends. To me, love is not love. Love does vibrate on a high frequency, but there are levels to that shit. And the love that a simp has for a woman that he don't know is just pure delusion and mental health issues. And you're not going to act as though love, like love can make you go through and do some crazy things, but it's usually coming from the purest place. And Jamila, that simp shit is delusion and you know it. Can, it's coming from a place you, of mental health. Can you love a man unconditionally? I don't know because I haven't. Do you think the only person I love unconditionally at the moment is my son. Exactly. I agree. I, I completely agree with you on that. I believe that wholeheartedly that that is a fact. Because I have conditions for everybody. Like, sure. I, at my friends, I have conditions. Sure. There are rules to, to engaging with me. You can't just fuck with me. Mm -hmm. You can't just be my friend. Mm -hmm. You can't just have sex with me. Mm -hmm. You can't just call my motherfucking phone. Like, if we not like that, it's not, it's not like that. Right. <laughs> There's, there's conditions. It's always conditions. When you start pissing, you can be my friend. If I feel like you're you're vibrating too low for me, I don't even want to talk to you. Right. But at the end of the day, there are conditions for women to love men. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I'm not trying to allude to anything being wrong with that. I think it's nature. Mm -hmm. I think that how I equate this is the money thing, right? Because in today's day and age, money is how we can provide security. You know what I mean? But it's not a natural, it's not a natural thing for, for us to, to live off of, right? So as human beings, we were able to provide and protect for our families mm -hmm. by means of how we were able to build, how we'd be able to hunt, how we'd be able to protect physically. But that has now changed, whereas we have to do it monetarily at this point. Mm -hmm. But that's not a natural way of human beings to, to react and move, is what I'm saying. So now, human beings now have to move in an unnatural state to continue to press on their lineage, mm -hmm. right? So if a man cannot provide monetary funds for his family, he cannot reproduce. You know what I mean? Compared to... A man, you know, back in the days where he was, you know, maybe strong enough or whatever to be able to fight off certain protectors or if they were just running around in wars and knocking people off and be able to mm -hmm. find new people. So I'm just saying that today's day and age is it's an unnatural way of us doing it, but it has to be done. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I just thought like, okay, this is interesting. Men do have to make money in order to be able to be loved. And that's a, that's a statement. I'm not saying it's wrong or right. But I think men should be aware because there's a lot of men who need step by step what to do mm -hmm. because there's a lot of men who get upset mm -hmm. and angry and confused on what's going on. Like, why is this not working out with me? Why can't I find mm -hmm. why can't I find a girlfriend? Why can't I find love? Why haven't I had sex in 10 years? There's a lot of like men struggling <laughs> to 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 like to like move on and, and, and do and they have no idea what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And it, it could be confusing because, like, on one end, you're like, okay, I don't want to simp, but, I, but you can't not spend anything either. You know what I mean? Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's a balance. And it's, it's, a, it's, not, it's, it's just not easy for, for when it comes to men and women. Because, like, with women, it doesn't matter what you do or say, men are going to approach you. They're going to always be approaching you. But we're talking about you love. Guys are choosing. We're talking about love. Okay, yes. But you guys get to choose who you love or not. Like, you guys are going to have options coming to you. Like, okay, no, 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 no. You guys say no to, like, 80 to 90% of men that come and approach you guys. As you guys should, because you are looking for the best partner possible for you. And men are going to constantly approach you. So A lot men, of them aren't even options. So you keep right. making it seem like they're options. And that's they not are options. They just, That's not fucking they fair. Are no, it's you just not. Don't, you just don't want no, those options. No, it's not. Like, no, that's just like these same men that haven't fucked in 10 years. They can go fuck a dog if they really want to fuck. Okay, but, but it's not an you option. Too, you too. You too. It's not an option. <laughs> it's not an option. It's it, not it, an option. It is an option. It's not an option. You can always do something, but it's just not smart. If it's two, if it's only one man left on the world, you'll say that this person that has diseases and all that, this is an option. These people are just, just because Jamila, that person, that one is there, that does not make it okay. Those options are not suitable Jamila, options. That's weird. Are, I'm not saying they're suitable. I'm saying they are options. 
Whether you decide if they're suitable or not, that is your personal choice. Everybody that goes outside are, has the, the world at their fucking fingertips. When you see a human being, it's an option. If you talk to enough people, you're not going to get a million no's. That's just the lie. That's probability. People just don't have self-confidence and they're not trying hard enough. But they have options. You have to make these options readily available to you. You keep making it seem like it's so hard to be a man. Yes, men have problems, but you keep trying to make it seem like, like no, don't keep doing that. Because okay? every God. time I rewatch some of these videos, I be sitting mm -hmm. back thinking to myself, I should have said this. I should have. No, I'm you're not going to make it seem like just because these goofy ass niggas keep approaching women that that's even okay. Because by saying that it's an option, you're saying that they should consider it. And that's some bullshit. <laughs> you should consider all your options. But they're no, not no. fucking options. You just said you should consider all your options, but they're not options. Some of them are not options, and you know it. And you fucking know I don't, it. I don't, know, you know, I don't know the men that are approaching you. And you know it. I don't. And you fucking know it. What would I know about You know it. it. Because it just don't make sense. <laughs> that's just like, sense? that's just like by you, like, even though these people are saying no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. and, and we got the yes the first time. It probably wouldn't be that bad, but it just don't be given that. The niggas don't be yeses. They don't even be half yeses. Don't you can't do it. We do it every episode that we have a conversation like this, and I'm just so tired of you making it just seem like women just got it doing? so sweet because no, the fuck we don't. And I felt like the, the girls was in my uh, my DMs. I, no, you got the game fucked up. No, got, you got the I, game I, fucked up. I got the game it's fucked not up. as sweet as you think it is. Y'all like to look at it like that. We look at it like you're a fucking man in the mm -hmm. United States of America, especially mm -hmm. that you have power, black or not, at the end of the day, especially us in the DMV. We see what the fuck it really is. Like, it's not hard that hard to be black in the DMV as it is in other areas. Now, it's going to be not. hard to be black in America, period. Period, but it's definitely levels to it. I don't feel like there's any issues. Like I don't, I don't feel like a a cloud of racism over me while living here in the DMV. And I, I know that like... I'm a black woman here as well. I know right. that sometimes there are moments where it's tense. At if you go to certain areas, there will be some. I.e. in South Maryland, you can go type time. Yeah, you know I'm, what I mean. I'm not one to deal with excuses, right? Like I'm not. But I'm, you are a man. Y'all, y'all have power. Like at the end of the day, like. Not all men have power. No, no, no. A, but what I'm saying, percentage like, percentage of men, y'all can tap into it though. Being a man, just like how we are women, and like at the end of the day, we might could pick our man. But there's opportunity for you guys being men when it comes to us being in the workplace and stuff like that. I see somebody talking they shit. She a feminist? No, I'm not. I speak facts though. At the end of the day, like Jamila, if ninety percent of women are able to reproduce and forty percent of men are able to reproduce, what does that tell you? What you mean? Say that again. If 90% of women are reproducing and only 40% of men are reproducing, what does that tell you? Women is tripping. <laughs> no, it means that women have the greater ability to reproduce. We got do. that, but they're, they, they, some men are choosing not to. You think that some men would be... You, you think that 60% of men are choosing not to reproduce? Gotta be. No. Not, all, not the other 60%. I feel like half of that 60%. Because half is, of the women, the women that are reproducing, have no business being reproducing. Jamila, half of the if you uh, from had sexual the choice, trauma and abuse, you're not going to act like a lot of these women. We don't talk about a lot of shit, and a lot of people aren't talking about their trauma enough for you men to really know how some of these babies are really coming about. Yes. It's a lot of tra traumatic things that are happening. Yes, but we can. But you have to be careful with that because you'll take a small percentage. It's not a small percentage. It's not a small percentage. It's not a small percentage. It's happening more than you want to admit. Say, I don't want to say the word, but there are studies of how many of those women have had children unwantedly, but mm -hmm. it's less than 1% when they calculate it. You said when they calculate it. Yes. They not, most people are not. We already know how many are reported. So right. they're not even reporting it for them to even talk to those women. Okay. That's what I'm saying. It's less than That's 1%. what I'm saying. It's not. You're a smart more woman. Than you, you look more facts, than right? half of the you cases are not facts, reported. Right? So more than half of, of the cases are not even of facts reported. And not assumptions, Jamila. Facts half not of the cases are not reported. So if we okay, don't so report half than 1%, of the cases. Sure. Okay. If it's less than 1%, half not reported, cool. We'll give it to them. And then you have to be one percent. Although we're choosing to have children, most of these children are accidents. Keep it a buck men are not getting the opportunity You're, to have the accidents but that doesn't make I'm, it that's the whole point you guys have the opportunity 
you guys have the ability to choose yes or no. Men don't. A lot of men don't. Only a percentage of men have the pick of the litter. Women pick are looking... Pick of the litter is one thing. Pick of the litter, that's a whole nother conversation. Pick of the litter is a whole nother conversation. What, do you, not... think, what do you think that all these other men are doing? If they are constantly being... Because you're going to say no. You're going to tell me that think, you don't see no, women crying that, every okay, day that... about how they wish they could be in a relationship? You're telling me that you don't see these pretty women crying, going viral about how they wanted to be in a relationship so bad. Yeah. They doing the same thing y'all men are crying about. Women have the same problems that you guys are having. You keep thinking that because we have the option to sleep with this scum, that it's an option. It's not a fucking option, bro. That's weird for you to think that the scum is an option. Most of these motherfucking men are scum. Okay, but that is That's your... not an option. Jamil, you it's can't, not an option. Can't speak, it's not an option. You can't speak it's not that all option. these men are scum. That is a crazy statement to make. Jamila, not all the men that So why are they not scum. going out here getting them then? Because you guys are saying no for whatever your reason is. They are not, not all scum. You can't say that. Half you of the ones that's getting fucked is scum. It's just the numbers game. They're not outside. They don't feel good about themselves, so they're inside. They're going for the wrong females. These women the that's right out females. here crying. <laughs> Where the right females at? That one lady that barely had any teeth for her fucking mother. Like, I just want a relationship. I know you know which no one teeth. I'm talking about. No. It was an older lady. She ended up finding a boyfriend and some more stuff. Then he ended up ghosting her a week later, but she was crying on TikTok. The world, like, heart went out to her. Like, we all felt it. It was I really it. sad. It was really, it went crazy viral, like crazy viral. She ended up, people helped, did a makeover for her. She went out on a couple of dates and stuff like that. But this was an older lady. It's a lot of people, those same women that's in the house where they feel like they can't get, it's happening on both sides of the board. And I don't know why you keep acting like that. Like just because these women keep choosing, a lot of these women are having babies with these raggedy ass men. We mm -hmm. already know what's going on in our culture, but these mm -hmm. men are scum. A lot of the men that want to have sex, they're just not coming out. They're not trying. They're not trying. When they, they try a couple times, they go in the house feeling all upset and insecure. I just, these men are not doing, that's the problem. They're lacking masculinity. That's why they're not I getting women. That. But that's not our fault because they're not going out here and getting the and pussy. And what's also happening on the op opposite side? Camila, what's happening on the opposite side? What do you mean? Like with white if people? Men, no, if men are not as masculine and are be feminized what's happening on to the women we know that we're mad that's the main thing that we speak on the most and then they're right. getting mad that we speaking so, on sassy men so we can't make it seem like it's one-sided or the other like i don't want to make it ever seem like it's a woman problem because i don't believe that i believe that men need to be accountable for their lack of masculinity as well too but i think women need to be accountable for being overly masculine as well too and also looking at masculine some of their women sandwich. are still getting approached too though absolutely the ma the men absolutely. are absolutely so there's no reason for them to change because if they're like shit if i can but still it's still be, a problem though but they still can get men so if there's work their mind you're calling them men but you got to take it all the way back like this shit is weird because those same men that's not getting women can still get women they're choosing not to because they're lacking masculinity they are lack. It's not our fault that if you had a, a ounce more of masculinity, you probably would try you, the right type of woman. You got men are deal with egos. Mm -hmm. Y'all be all in the wrong ballpark to begin with. There's what do you some, think? What do you think these men are are looking for? What, do you, that, what, do you, what are they looking? Yeah. For? What What are these? Not the scum. Leave the scum We're out. Not of talking it. about the scum, Let's but that's about the, the majority. Men. Yeah. That are not getting so women. So majority of men are scum. No, no. Well, okay. to keep it a buck, yes. Okay, that, yes. that, that might be an issue. So No, no, no. no. I honestly believe the, that there are a lot of good men in, out here. Yes. The thing that you don't know is what the, the unreported shit, bro. When we are put a what, million what, okay. women in a tell room, me, me half a million have been tell sexually what, uh, traumatized. Like, that shit is crazy to me. And half of those cases have not been reported. I'm telling you, if you put 10 women in a room right now, nine of them have been sexually assaulted or molested. Nine of them, bro. That's a lot. And half of them people, more than half have not reported it. You don't know how gross men are because you don't deal with them on that level. Y'all sit right next to rapists every day. That's how Diddy, R. Kelly was able to do what the fuck they do. Right next to grown men that don't do those things. 
Yeah. We as women, we feel it every day and we have to tiptoe and act like that shit is not real. And I tell you this on a regular basis. I'm telling you, it's a lot, Imani. It's I more mean. than you know. It's okay. more than you know. I told you my grandfather had seven kids. A high pillar in the community. Nobody know that shit. But these men be nasty. They be grimy. Do you know what his sons turned out to be like? Yeah, they're gonna repeat. Repeat. It's happening, Imani. I believe it. A lot, not on a I, small basis. A I, lot, bro. My uncle, my grandfather <laughs> had seven kids. He abused all his daughters and his son and half his sons, and then no son. All of them, all of them turned out to be just like that. So how how often do you think that's happening? You think that's just my that's, that's just my uh, grandfather? I'm not even. I'm. This is not even the conversation. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the scum fighting. of men. I'm, I'm telling you about the scum of men. <laughs> I'm telling you about men. Because you keep trying. Just because you're not scum, just because your dad's not scum, I know that there are great men. I attract that type of energy. But I do not negate the unreported shit. That shit is real and it's a big deal. But y'all yes. men don't know. Y'all do not know what we go through. Because you a good man. Because you don't do that type of shit. I'm telling you, the majority of men be on some weird shit, and I keep telling you that. And the fact that I keep having to repeat it makes me feel as though you're making me say as though I'm not, like I'm not speaking facts. I'm telling you, just because you're good, half the niggas that you around, I'm telling you, you can you can say what you want. There is a creep there, and I promise you that. I'm willing to bet my life. That's because I know what the fuck the statistics really, really is because I know how much it's not reported. I know how these niggas look really good, how much power they really have. They don't have to have money. Men be on some weird shit. I'm not saying women don't either, but I'm saying that when we stop pretending, because that's what we do in the black community. We don't talk about it. I'm letting you know it's not no if, ands, or buts about it. Uh, most men, yes, it's a lot of weird shit, bruh. Especially in our community too, because we keep hiding and covering it up. We already know what they do. We know what the other what the other half does. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, we don't talk about it enough. We don't. We're not saying that our uncles and our brothers and stuff like that did. We're not talking about that shit. That shit is shameful. Yes, I agree. Men that do that are scum. I believe that men that forcefully take, um forcefully takes women do these nasty things are scum of the earth. I we think they're weak. That. I think they're bitches. I think that there's certain places in hell and the certain places here where they all belong. I believe you agree with that. I think that but, you disagree with the number and that's a, that's a problem to me. But when we have, when we think about negativity, mm -hmm. it is always heightened. I'm not saying that these things don't exist and should not be acknowledged. And <laughs> We need to talk about it and make sure that these people go where they need to go. I agree with that. But I cannot say that majority of men are doing Because you don't that. know what's going on. That's what I'm saying. You can so say what you want. I'm telling have you to agree to that disagree. I know. You can, look up the, the, you can look up the numbers that's not reported. I'm telling you right now. If it happened to my grandfather, if it's Jamila, my grandfather alone, it's unreported. That. But if you're saying that majority of that. men are doing that, that is a bold statement I made that over what 50 percent of men is, I told are you sexually earlier, assaulting women. Bro, that shit is crazy. Do you think athletes, bro? The shit that go on in college, bro. We be real loud tiptoeing around shit like it don't happen. It be the biggest athletes. Why do we keep acting like this just because they cover it up? That it's okay. I'm not saying it's okay, and it's never okay. But you're it's making okay. it seem that you but you you're that seem like number in your head. I'm trying. It's to, a lot. I'm telling you. Is it over 50%? I'm telling you it's over fifty percent. I I'm you have to stand telling you it's over fifty percent. You have to stand. I'm if you stand telling on you that, you stand I'm on that. I'm telling you, you don't have that I intuition. Can't I you can't do not know. I'm telling you because you don't know. Because you don't know. You don't know how many men real life be doing this to boys and girls. Let me make let me make it clear. It should be zero percent of men doing that. It should be. It should be zero percent. No man should be doing any of that kind of stuff. Man, but, if you only knew, but, okay. if you only knew, and you're not going to, I mean, and I've been around the world. Mm -hmm. I've been around the world, man. I'm trying to tell you. I didn't talk to old heads from Africa. You don't even know what they, bruh, in Africa. I know about what the fuck really going on in Africa, not even in Sudan. Mm -hmm. My mom, man, I've been tapped into Africa. My mom, they have multiple boyfriends from Africa. My mom's friends have been African. 
it's a lot of crazy shit that be going on. I feel like you, because you a good man, you do not want to tap into that energy. But I'm telling you, it be the ones closest to you. Mm -hmm. It be the ones closest to you. That's the most fucking normal, bruh. That shit be so unexpected, but it be in them. All right. I'm well, trying to tell you. It be the well, eye contact. It be that that feel. My, like I told you, my mother always told me, if it don't feel right, it's not right. You have never made me feel no type of way. Mm -hmm. We can talk about anything on any type of level. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like you have displayed that type of energy to me. But what I'm not going to say is I wouldn't be surprised because some of them niggas, not saying that you, I feel like, honestly, I have a good level of discernment mm -hmm. when it comes to people. So I don't get that energy from you. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that you attract some good energy, that you know some good men, and I do too. Mm -hmm. My father was, was not on no weird shit. Mm -hmm. You understand? But I don't put it past nobody because I talk to women that have not reported it. Mm -hmm. I'm, These I'm, not people I'm that I'm attracted. I didn't talk to other women that haven't gone through it, but we know how come we haven't gone through it because we protected ourselves. Have mm -hmm. we been in situations on multiples of occasions? Haven't been forced to do nothing, but I didn't been in situations where if I didn't handle myself, it could have went left. And that's why I'm telling you it's 50% because it's been parties. I'm watching it. I'm seeing what's going on. Mm -hmm. Just how niggas be geeing up drunk girls and stuff like that. That happens every day at parties a lot of that shit is very predatory man that shit is crazy sometimes mm -hmm. shit is weird that shit is nasty you think that niggas that was doing that shit in college and just stopped doing it that that shit just went out the window you don't understand that shit didn't leave them that's a, that's a that's a big topic we we mm -hmm. kiki and kaka because it's a party oh we're drunk and so we're young stuff like that but that shit is still sick because when you once the thing about it is once you know what's in them, you can't never unsee it because you know that they're gonna satisfy that appetite, bro. Some of them suppress it for a long time, but that shit is in these niggas. And I know it sucks to say, like I really hate to say it, but the truth of the matter, because we don't report it and we don't talk about it, the numbers don't look right. I'm telling you, if we reported what the fuck was really, really going on, you would you would really understand what I was talking about. We don't want to talk about it because it's very low vibrational. No, I, no, I'm I'm not mad at you talking about. It. My thing is this doesn't really have anything to do with the topic that we were bringing up. Is what I was it saying. It kind of does where, where, though where, because where, this is the where pool. it went. I let you go with it because I understand it does need to be talked about. This wasn't on the docket, but it does need to be talked about. But I'm saying <laughs> to to say that I don't want to keep going back to it. But there are good men. They are. There are definitely good men. And they're having a hard time finding and it. And I, I believe that. And the same thing with women is what I'm saying. And we already had this conversation on mm -hmm. so many different levels. Right. Everybody that's in the dating pool is not even qualified to be in the pool. So when you no, take no, those no, people no, no. out, that's no, what no, I'm no, talking no, no. about. Okay. When you take those people out, this, but it's this is equal. The, this is, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the real issue. There are a certain level of requirements that people have that are unrealistic. We look at social media. We look at reality TV, we look at the Joneses, and we say, this is the kind of lifestyle that we want. <laughs> yeah. If my man can't provide me this, 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 And then or we this, jump in the wrong pool. And then you jump into the wrong pool when there's plenty of other men who can still provide security. Yes. Which is like typical man provide safety and security. That's the kind of man you should be going for. But for whatever reason, they're being overlooked or not being seen or not being heard. Because what they women... They are also well, in the wrong don't, pool. Don't, don't interrupt me real quick. What other women tend to do is disqualify men for one, like, simple reasons. It could be, I don't know, nigga might have a list. Or the nigga might be left-handed. Or a nigga right. might be a Pisces. We know like, that. Like, there's, there's weird shit that women do to disqualify men that, to me, is not valid. Like, there's certain women that are legit, and you, you know them, mm -hmm. that will not date to a guy based on what his birthday is. Absolutely. So what? So we can't just ignore. I'm talking about We the can't pool. just ignore that fact either. I'm That's a big about fact. The, pool. the oh. same. The same way that we just said that these women have unrealistic expectations. Mm -hmm. These men are jumping in the wrong pools as well. They're not going after the women that w the average woman either. They're not. So we could. It's the same shit that we said about the whole um. <laughs> uh, about women and stuff like that. They not. They don't really want the woman that they that's at their level. 
Because some of these men do have money. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Some of these men, you know what I mean, um, have power, have status and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But some people just don't. They lack the personality. They just mm -hmm. lack the environment. They're in the wrong pool. That's all I'm saying. Like I said, it, including the scum and these women that have unrealistic expectations. We already know that there's more women. At the end of the day, if you take out the people that are automatically just, it's obvious. I don't know why do we keep acting like we can't tell that what pool we in. Just because I want a millionaire don't mean I qualify for a millionaire. Mm -hmm. So if I know that it's a huge possibility I might not qualify, can't we just go ahead and count me out? But no, what I we want to keep doing is still staying I think you grossly underestimate what a lot of these women want in men. I think you really grossly underestimate those no, women. I know that they are. I'm telling you, I know that's the mass majority. So what I'm telling you is from the first second that you realize that this bitch is in the wrong pool, mm -hmm. why are you still in that pool? Like, because, because there's only 40% of men that reproduce and they have to reproduce with something. They're trying to find a girl. But y'all so got that, time on y'all hands. Y'all keep talking about the top. See, that's not fair. Y'all be in a rush. The reason why these men are not finding the women, they're in the wrong pool and they're mm -hmm. rushing. We are in a fast, 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 yeah. fast, fast, fast. Yeah, fast yeah sure. There's a world. lot of twenty-one-year-old boys who want to like settle down and get married and, and do all that kind of stuff. But, but the old know. men, they don't want the woman that's fucking forty years old, who kids is grown, who want love right now either. These women are out. It's, it's a lot of women that are having a hard time getting married that want to get married. Mm -hmm. These are conversations that we're having on this podcast. Right. So there's. Why okay, is that woman sure. not with that man? Because all those women is not that crazy. A lot of women at this point in time are willing to settle. They done did it before. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not, though. We know that some of the reasons why they are still single mm -hmm. is because they are, their standards is way too high. And mm -hmm. again, they already disqualify themselves and for the small willing, portion and of they're men. they're willing to be single for the rest, rest of, of their, their life. life. But that's not all women. There are a lot of women that's <laughs> desperate. Why y'all acting lot. like women don't be desperate? Like for one, like y'all not married. First of all, we you already know how many single mothers there are mm -hmm. and how not trendy it is. They're not getting like, it's not going how it used to go. I don't know why we're not acting like things aren't changing right now. No, either. things are changing. This is a completely different world. A completely different That's world. Why, like, this, okay, this is why marriages is going the way it is because the marriage laws don't really affect with today's time. That's true. And that's, that's like, if, okay, if women pick men based on how they can provide for them, they're going to look for men who are provided. If men are providers, they have a certain level of, you know, wealth and status. Mm -hmm. Why would he then choose to, to marry a woman and put half of that at risk? No, if, we understand the risk. We okay. understand that. So that's the problem. Men are logical. We think logical. It's just like, yeah, we will love and fall in love with this woman and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And if we know that 60% of a marriage is in the divorce and 80% of them are initiated by women, it's completely up to them. They're but is that the man that's the not, but that man doesn't have a problem dating, most likely. Right. A lot of them will date and they'll date, they'll just continue dating and they'll try to avoid just getting married. Mm hmm. But yeah, there's a problem. I do believe that marriage should should happen. I believe that marriage brings stability onto a society. A lot mm -hmm. of society that started off with a you know the household, a man, a woman, and children. Those that's like the pinnacle of like a good society. Mm -hmm. It worked really, really well in the 40s and the 50s mm -hmm. in America and stuff like that. It did really well. What happened? The problem was you introduce social media and then you take away. We're going to see the real effects of what social media is going to do to our society, but mm -hmm. I think it's really crumbling us mm -hmm. to the point because shit. I feel like I know ago, which way it's getting ready to go to. I don't think? think it's going to be super social media. China has already started uh, started implementing this, but using um, it's still going to be social, but where we're going to grade each other off of our social interaction in real life. Like, you're really oh, going to have to be a scores. good person. Yeah, social score. Yeah, I did hear about that. Um, yeah. There, there's, there's Some a, people ain't going to make it. A lot of people not going to make it. I'm going to make it because y'all love me. There's a lot of moral, morally <laughs> ill people. That's in, on in the, the way. I feel like that's going to be your background check, your credit check, your... Social score. Yeah, like, I... It's sad that we got to do this, but, like, at the same time, like, there's, there's some real jank... There's some real janky stuff. Um, let's let's get into the comments. We we've been we've been going off, and I know you guys had a lot to say. Let me get into the comments. So, um, 
All right, so back to the question. He's, so Indu said, love, yes, but not for long. Uh, going, going back to the question, can men be loved without uh, making money? Laughter said, women look at you like a hungry dog when you broke. Indu said, message behind song. I request, oh, that's a, we didn't get into that yet. Um, KD said, I can love a man without money, but after a while it becomes more about the lack of motivation are you really trying sir yeah i agree i think the men should have motivation and drive um that that helps us be that helps us be who we are man like i i don't want it to make it seem like men shouldn't be trying to find ways to provide for their families i think it's a key part of masculinity of being able to provide and support their women and the way to do that in today's day and age is you have to have money so you have to adapt to the times my only thing was just like we. This is not a natural order of things for men to do. Is to make money, to to sit in the house or go to a job and make money, and this is how you provide. I so I, gotta. It's it's just it's a different way of living and thinking, you know. Um, laughter says, "I love you, Jamila, but I never uh, met you." Aww, <laughs> but it's a different kind of love. You don't love me like you love your mama. Hey, young. Uh, Bird says she's a feminist. She thinks. Um, she thinks I'm a sexist, twisting my words. I think she dislisted Central C on Sprinter. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's he's um, quoting a mm-hmm. Central C lyric. Indu, there are men who have loved, not sent, women without sex. But just like there's also women who have loved, not digmatized, broke men. Both don't last for long. Yeah, I, can, I can agree with that. Just to Mila's point. KD, that's because most men aren't, uh, most aren't reported. Um, I agree with that. Most aren't reported. KD's also said, especially in the black community. Laughter said 90% of men who date women below their league, but 90% of women would not. That's also true. Um, yeah, women tend to date up. Uh, men tend to date down um, when it comes to like social status and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And, and that's, like I said, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I think that as men, okay. We have we have to fix this this masculine issue, and the reason why I bring up some of these topics, or why Jamila will bring up some of these topics, because we want to find solutions to problems and issues that we see are happening on this side of the world on the internet stuff like that. We want to bridge the gap with through music culture and relationships. Like the relationship part is a very key and important part of building a society and a culture. If the men and the women can't um, think together, grow together, build a family together. The society is not going to go anywhere. It's going to die off. We can't continue to have this way of living in the society and continue to move on. Mm-hmm. So I'm on the side of like, okay, men have to step up. Women have to do their part as well, too. It's not men's fault or women's fault. It's men take care of the fucking men problems. Women take care of the fucking women problems. And let's fucking work together, masculine and feminine together. Mm-hmm. That's my whole point, and I want the I want that to be crystal clear from from my message. Okay, men in today's day and age in twenty twenty three, in order for you to have true respect and love from your partner, you need to be able to provide straight like that. I don't mm-hmm. want to sugarcoat it. This is what you have to do. You have to be able to provide for your family. If you are unable to provide for your family, you should not be looking to marry anybody or court anybody because you will continue to create more issues. There are a lot of people who are reproducing, making, making babies and stuff like that, and are not prepared to take care of that child, not prepared to take care of your woman. Mm-hmm. We have to... We have to be more strategic in how we move. We can't just be like, oh, it's an accident. Oh, it's this. It's like, okay, we know accidents happen. And we, have to, and we go through it. Cool. But, what are but we we're not going to do it. Okay, not the exception to the rule. When that happens, that happens. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about there are a lot of people who are planning to have children or planning to get married, and they don't have a plan. <laughs> That's 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 what I'm talking about. There's a lot of kids having kids. You know what I mean, YouTube, 18 and over. There's a lot of people 
doing things and not having a plan. Men should have a plan. Don't look for a woman to have a plan for you. You need to set the plan. You need to know where you want your family to go in life and let the woman get on board with you. Mm -hmm. And if she doesn't want to get on board with you, that's the wrong woman. But you as the man are supposed to steer the ship. If nobody else is telling you, if you don't have a father figure or, or a masculine figure in your life, I'm telling you right now, you are the captain of your ship. Not everybody deserves to be on your ship. But you need to have a plan and a course of action of what you want to do, how you're going to provide for your family, mm -hmm. and be able to execute that. And there's no excuses. Because the, the end result is you won't. You won't reproduce. You won't be able, you won't have a family. It, it just is what it is. So that's my TED talk. That's what I, that's what I wanted to get to. Well, that's enough. You said we had to get out of here. <laughs> Shit, yeah. Our time has run up. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that conversation. It was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> oh my god, it was a lot. We got our shit off. Are you okay? I'm great. Good. I'm just okay. speaking the truth for all the people. You know, I, I got, told you, I feel I like that's now my, my friend, mission. Man. You know, I just gotta check in with my friend. That's it. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode. Make sure you guys are, uh, if you guys have not already, please like the video. Um, on your way out. If you guys are on Facebook or Twitch um, or some or anywhere else, please come on, come over to our YouTube. And make sure you hit the like button. It really helps us out. Leave a comment in there. We yes, greatly yes. appreciate it. Make sure you guys are following us on all of our socials um, at Top Hill Pod everywhere: Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, um, and then follow us on our personals as well too. I'm at E Money Boss everywhere, and uh, follow Jamila as well too. Please and thank you. Follow Jamila's TikTok as well, too, because she's going to be doing a lot of live, behind-the-scenes stuff for Top Pill on her live as well, too. And plus, you know, she lit over there anyway. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. Top Hill, Top Hill, Top Hill, Hell no. Top Hill, Top Hill.